they raise rates in the front end? Well, Europe is in a very, very sharp economic downturn. Uh, the sharp decline of output and living standards also shows up as a rise of prices. But the, the main fact is that the European economy is getting hammered by this, by the sudden cutoff of energy. And now, uh, to make it uh, definitive, the destruction of uh, the Nord Stream pipeline, which I, I would bet was a U.S. action, perhaps U.S. and, and Poland. Uh, this is uh, All right, Jeff, speculation. Jeff, we've got to stop there. That's, a, that's a quite a statement as well. Why do you feel Absolutely. that that was a U.S. action? What evidence do you have of that? Well, first of all, there's direct radar evidence that U.S. Uh, helicopters, military helicopters that are normally based in Gdansk, uh, were uh, circling over this area. We also had the threats from the United States earlier in this year that one way or another, we are going to end Nord Stream. We also have a remarkable statement by Secretary Blinken last Friday in a press conference. that He says, this is also a tremendous opportunity. It's oh. a strange way to, it's, uh, sorry, it's a strange way to talk if you're worried about the piracy on international infrastructure Professor. of vital significance. So I know this runs counter to our narrative. It runs, you're not allowed to say these things uh, in, in, uh, in the West. But the fact of the matter is, all over the world, when I talk to people, they think the okay. U.S. did it. And just to tell you, well, and, and by, by the way, even reporters on our papers that are involved tell me privately, yeah, well, of course, but well, it doesn't show up in our, our media. Professor, I, I want to get into it for Tad about what did or did yeah, not yeah. happen with Nord Stream because I don't have the evidence and we don't have a counterbalance to this.